State Superintendent Kathy Hoffman saying yesterday that most schools will probably have to start the school year online. And for some school districts, they've already started virtually. It is a new normal and a new challenge for students and parents across the state, especially those with large families, like the family we caught up with in Queen Creek, who is making it work the best they can. In every room, and that is my day, is running from child to child to child to child. To child. That's five students in Bryn Porter's household, two elementary, one in junior high, and two high schoolers. I'm getting my steps in on my Fitbit. The logistics for starting off the new school year remotely has been the most stressful. The schedules are all very different, so I had to make a spreadsheet for each child so that they would know when to log into each classroom and what days because every day is different. One of the biggest challenges, distractions they wouldn't have in the classroom. The TV is there, the Xbox is there. Uh, I'm even there asking, help me bring in the groceries that I interrupted my son's AP econ yesterday. The kids say they'd rather be at school. I'm not saying I hate it, but it's just not my favorite. Just to be able to interact with people and friends. Nash, now a senior in high school, also looking ahead to college and hopes he can enjoy his last year before graduation. Like that last hoorah before I go out and stuff. So that's a big bummer for me. Making it work, but hoping a return to campus is not too far away. I know once we get back to school, it'll be different with like the mask and separation, but still just to be in that that group with of people, it's, just, it's a lot funnier.